What's going on with the two, man? What's going on? Uh, it's early in the morning. I'm using some PC to try to find a. Uh, I don't know if I could do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I, my, uh, I gotta find an empty so I could get dispatched to this load. I got this back three, so I got time. But I just came up with a 34-hour reset at home. I was in, um, you know, they able to get my truck together, put my refrigerator in here, hook up my TV and all that good stuff. And um, I dropped off the load that I was sitting on since last time. I think I did a video, which I did not. I think I did. Hey, maybe I'm not. Or maybe I didn't post it yet. But, um, yeah, man. I got some things to talk about. The um, how to try the attempt to be successful on doing your own business, right? Do not do things that you don't know, right? Or if you don't, have somebody do it or figure it out. Because you're an independent contractor, or you, or you know, and you know you're doing this trucking thing, get a um account. There's accounts that deal with the stuff. They call it CPCs or something, or CPAs or something. CPs or something. But they they uh do everything for you. Or they they assist you. You just gotta give them things to get you right. Basically, uh, all the deductibles on your taxes and things you can write off. They they job is to make sure you you know you write all these things off. So you know you know your fuel is a write off. Um, your truck payment is a write-off. All these things are write-offs. I did sign up to one. It's a CPA. It's called a CPA. Um, and they gave me a list of things. Basically, everything I use in this truck, any supply, clothes, anything. You know what I'm saying? That you use on the road. Your phone, your phone bill, your navigation. All these things are write-offs. You understand what I'm saying? So, at the independent contractor, make sure you, um, you know, keep your receipts. Or even with them, they, they if you use, if you always use a car, so you have a, a paper trail on it. So yeah, I was able to sign up for that. Also, I was able to um, get my LLC together. Um, just gotta send the, the my lady will do that for me. Um, send the money order to Secretary of State. The next time I get the EMI number, um, uh, yeah, employee, the employee, the employee identification number, e, e, the EIN, not EIN, EIN. Yeah, and once I get that, uh, I give that to Western, and it no longer pays me, it goes straight to the company. So that's that's why I started off. The reason why I want to start it right now, because my accountant was telling me something about, it's not an S Corp or some crap like that, which I don't know what that means yet. I'm gonna do my research on that. Um, but basically, he's saying, um, yeah, the independent contract is fine for now, uh -huh, but I was like, nah, you are good. Cause I, what I do know is when, as soon as you start a business, and you put money into the business, and you're, in it, you're generating some kind of money, it shows that your um, it shows it's good for the business. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? So, if you, further on, like I said, I have a two-year two plan. I could I have better options with trying to get loans and what kind of good stuff like that. You know what I mean? So yeah, so I need to start that soon. Um, two weeks into this. Uh, I got my first check. It's more than I thought it would be. You know what I'm saying? I think they gave me like a little bonus, signing bonus or something like that. I think you get another bonus. You know, I took my whatever. But um, it was decent. Actually, the best check I got so far with Western. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on with me, man. I uh, just want to keep y'all updated on everything. Uh, I'm in Georgia right now. Last night it was freezing and I was, it done warmed up to 62 degrees. <laughs> oh God, this weather will get people sick. 
But um, yeah, man, I, I'm out here, bro. I'm, I'm out here, and all this information I'm getting, like I said, I'm gonna share. I want people to be successful, man. You know what I'm saying? This trucker thing is like, you know, and not everybody gonna succeed. Some some people gonna look at this and be like, oh, oh, uh, he don't know what he's talking about. gonna do these purchases, understand the business and, and protect yourself and try to do the, the smartest things possible. Not only that, when you get a CPA, they these people only charging like $25 a month just to, to um, and you, you get a direct person to, that speaks to you. I forgot what he called them. He had a name from um, whatever, but about 48 hours I'll be introduced to this person. I just signed up to him with him yesterday. I signed up to the company yesterday. So I'm in route, man. You know, I'll be sharing everything with y'all. I'm be um, like I said, you know, this channel just to uh, show y'all my journey, any advice, you know that. Oh, also I want to talk about something. Um I think in January I'm a I'ma test my waters with training. I uh, had a conversation with my lady um, and I was like, you know, I'm always giving advice, you know, I want people to do well. Um, maybe I should start doing training, you know? Yeah, maybe I should be doing training, you know? Um, I feel like I'm good enough to train somebody that I don't know nothing. <laughs> or somebody that needs some hours to get yourself back on the road, because like I said, I probably prefer having somebody to have a little experience or had a little incident. And, um, just you know, Western will hire me for that, uh, you know, second chance stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't mind doing that, you know. Um, so I'm a, I'm a think about it. I probably tell my DM I'm looking into it. Not only that, it's really good money. And uh, you know, the only reason why I was skeptical about it is because. You know, some people don't know how to drive. Some people got a CDL and don't know what they're doing. And I could be in a bunker sleeping and, you know, these people have their lives, you know, in your hands, you know. But that's thinking negative in a way. But, but you, you, um, you could choose who you want if, if you feel like this person is not going to be good. They don't have to stay with you. Trainers are hit or miss. I think I'll be a good trainer though, because you know, I'm, I'm friendly. And, uh, I, you know, at the end of the day, I, I want people to win. So, but doesn't mean <laughs> whoever come in that truck with me is on that same mindset. You know, and the thing with me, I don't tolerate a lot of, I, my tolerance is on zero with bullshit. So, I, I'm hoping that um, if I do do it, it'll end up being successful. Anywho, that's just pretty much it. Um, I'll holla at y'all, man.